All right, so today we're gonna go through how you insert pictures on iPad for OneNote. All right, so working with this app version, we considered it important. A lot of the work that we do is with primary schools. So we see the app version of OneNote coming up quite frequently. So, um, you know, I thought, why not? We should jump into both. Some things we're, we're going to repeat here, we might have already done, but there are some features that are slightly different or important to know about on the iPad version. Now, if I keep looking down, it's just because I'm literally holding the iPad, so I'm looking down and it, I'm not looking at my screen, just using my screen to record. So here we have, we have a blank page and at the top of our ribbon bar there, we're on the insert ribbon. So what I'm going to do is just tap on the screen. Now, I don't have an external keyboard attached, so the keyboard is going to pop up and that's fine. But if we look along the screen here, there are a couple of options and we're going to have a look at each one of them. So we have pictures, we have the camera, and then we have online pictures. So let's just start really nice and basic here with pictures, which I'm just going to tap on. And that's going to open up access to my photo library, which is fine, which is what we want to do. So I've got some photos in here. I don't have many on this iPad, but I can go through here. I am going to pick a photo of uh, Brisbane, that one. I'm going to go done. I'm going to have a look at that. Now you've got a couple of options here. You can see up in the top right hand corner, we can tap to crop that image if need be. We can rotate the image if it needs to be rotated. And there are a couple options here. Now these are only really relevant to if you're taking pictures of like a, a, a document uh, that has words on it that will help transform into a document or if you've taken a photo of your whiteboard or you want it in a whiteboard style format, you can see how that's changed. They're kind of not really filters, they're just specifically designed to alter the images to best suit that style. If I wanted to keep adding more photos, okay, down the bottom, you can't see it there, but the, down the bottom there in the left-hand corner, there is an add new, and that will then open up and allow you access to kind of jump in and add more photos. But we're just gonna add the one for now. So I'm gonna hit done, and there it is on my page, okay? Now quickly with photos, I can tap on it and all my options are gonna come up like we would be very familiar with on an iPad. So cut, copy, delete. I can also rotate in here and include text, sticky notes, okay? The really cool one there is, is setting it to the background. I'm not gonna do that just yet because I wanna show you something, but so if I tap on this in the middle of the page is where I can pick this photo up to move it around. So I've got my thumb down, uh, sorry, my index finger down on the screen and I'm literally moving that. So right in the middle were those little cross hair, cross hash um, arrows, which helps with that. And obviously I can resize here as well. So I am pinching the bottom right hand corner and that is causing that to resize. Now a really nice one here is if I tap from before, I can the very last option. So right up here, this guy here, set picture as background. When I do that, I can't actually move that photo anymore. It doesn't actually do anything. So it kind of locks it in, which is kind of quite a useful little tip when working with students because they can quite often delete photos on you. Now let's have a look at our other options here. So we have the camera. So if I'm going to tap on that, the very first time you do this is going to ask you for access to your camera. Let's turn this around. Um, it's not very interesting in here, but let's take a picture of my water bottle. Um, so I can tap to take a photo of my water bottle. And you can see up in the top right hand corner, we're faced with the same options. Okay, so I can crop this image. So if I wanted to just have oops, the water bottle, I can bring this right in like so. Go done. There's just the water bottle. And then I will insert that photo. And there it is, not terribly interesting, but we get the idea. Our last option here is one of my favorites, especially kind of, um, I'm all for using multiple apps and jumping around and stuff, but sometimes it is easier, especially in an online environment 
to find photos already in OneNote itself. So really cool little feature that is on the app version. And that is this one here where it says, oops, I'm over a little bit too far there, online pictures. So when I tap on that, what's gonna happen is this little online search option is going to come and I'm kind of in the way there. So let's pull me over here. So there's a little online search bar and it's powered by Bing. It's because it's a Microsoft product. And so I can tap here, okay? And I can type, um, let's just stick with Brisbane. I can type Brisbane in and hit search. And then it's going to go through here and find for me photos of Brisbane. And I can obviously be more specific if I wanted to. You know, it doesn't really, um, you know, it's just a, it's, a, it's a search engine designed for education. So if I type in China, okay, oh yeah, wonderful. You know, I needed a map or something, or if I, if I wanted a map specifically, I can type China map. That should probably give me a better result. There we go. And then I might go, oh, I don't know. I like this one. And then my photo will eventually add in. It's just loading there. There we go. And there I have my photo. All right, guys, there are three ways of putting photos in to your class notebook. I hope you find it useful and we'll see you again soon. Cheers. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date, don't forget to follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.